Hi, everybody. <clears throat> this is uh, John Lamazdi, and tonight I'm going to show you a technique in Inkscape, a very simple technique, in order to uh, place text in an interesting way. So, uh, the message that I want to say is text based. And I want to say, poking. is good poking is fun and I did that with the text based tool this text tool right here since I selected each of these separately I have the ability to move and manipulate both of these separately. I'm going to hold down control and resize. And I have this uh, block of text here that is basically just every character on the keyboard that I've typed out so that I can choose a piece of text and have it represent basically every character in that font. So uh, short of alt characters, which I won't go into here, I can click on the uh, text dialog once I've selected that text. And I can begin to navigate through to see what font I want to use. The font I want to use is a dingbat font and very specifically I want to choose something that represents poking. And specifically, I'm talking about Facebook uh, poking, something that I think is good and fun. And when I see the right font, it'll speak to me. And I believe the font is in here. So let's go ahead and try that. Go into my zoom tool and zoom in. And 
Hmm. Not quite. So I'll uh, go back in. definitely think I can find something to represent poking in this font. I'm going to move this up out of the way. And with this uh, selected font, I'm going to convert to path. which I'll do with the uh, keyboard shortcut, which is Control-Alt. I'm sorry, Control-Shift-C. And then I'm going to ungroup that group with Control-U. And then I'm going to uh, select one of these items. Let's go ahead and zoom back in. I think I will choose this particular arrow. I'll hit five on my keyboard to go uh, back to the page. OK. 
control shift resize control shift resize I'll make this a nice gray send it to the bottom of the page select or shift select both of these items go back into text scroll back up to the top see if I can find a good piece of text I think this is perfect I'm going to center on the page I'm going to size down control shift resize And um, I'm also going to add a rectangle in the background. So for adding that rectangle in the background, I'm going to turn on page snapping because I want the rectangle to attach to the page. I'm going to shift select the X here in order to turn off my stroke. I'm going to go to the selection tool, select that rectangle and send it to the bottom of the page. I'm going to select that arrow, move it down just a bit. I'm going to resize this with a control shift. be just about the same size as the uh, top piece of text. And finally I'm going to import a palette that I've gotten from colorlovers.com. I'm going to link it rather than embed it. And in the background, I'm going to choose this nice red at 100%.
this whoops this text I'm going to select and shift select the other piece of text and by hitting D I go back to the dropper tool I'm going to select this bright yellow, which I'm not very thrilled with. I'll choose instead this nice dark brown, which I'm still not very happy with. How about this uh, nice bright color? That's fine. Go back to my selection tool, select my arrow and use my dropper tool again and I'm pretty happy with that I'm going to select my palette and move it off the canvas I'm going to hit 5 to go back to my canvas. I'm going to move this text a bit down. I'm going to move this text a bit up. And that's it. I'm pretty happy with that. So, uh, hope you got some good techniques in Inkscape, uh, manipulating text on the canvas, and I hope you come back next time so that you can learn some more. Have a good one.